I always imagine there's a meter in your head and there's this is positive, this is negative, and you're just very lightly going through it and what you're really doing is reading that prose while watching that needle. And you're not attributing cause, you're not, you're not defending, you're just watching. And if the needle stays off in the positive, you're good. And, and once you train yourself in this approach, you'll see that it certain, it'll just drop. Then there's another trick, which is at that point, don't say, oh no, I failed, you know, I have to go back to law school. But you say very gently to the story, what's, what's the, I noticed that the, your needle dropped there, what, what do you think? And if you approach it this way, the story will actually say to you eventually, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just boring right here. And often, once you get your own defensiveness down, quiet, the story will very frankly tell you what's wrong with it. And then the fix is quite simple. And then I go back and I read through multiple times and each time I'm kind of looking for something different. Um, you know, on my first read through I'm looking for the big picture stuff. I'm looking for, you know, big holes in the plot. You know, my character has gone from point A to point B. Did all the things happen in the middle that needed to happen to make sure that point B makes sense at the end of the story? So I'm looking for that big picture stuff and, I'm, and then I kind of go through another time and I look at each character individually as, you know, the entire document. And I and I want to make sure that I'm giving all the characters their due. And I give myself maybe two or three week break, try and read other books, go to the cinema, go to the theatre, soak in different kinds of different kinds of, of, of creative outlets, and then come back to with, with a fresh eye maybe three to four weeks after. And it is amazing what you see and what you notice and the gaps you notice and the problems that you see. Um, because when you're writing it, you're, you know, it, it's, it's like anything, you, it's very hard to be objective about your own work. So you need to step away from it and you need to come back as a reader and it's amazing the things you'll see, the problems with the plot, the problems with the pace, maybe characters behaving out of character now that you know them so well and that you've got to the end of the book. Um, so the second thing, again, you're getting a little bit closer now. This is the point where you need to, um, I would say, read it out loud. This is where you need to come back to it with a sort of a different uh, angle for a different approach and you need to, you need to look at it you need to hear it in a different way, see it in a different way, see it with different eyes. Um, it's useful to read things out because uh, you know, do the accents, perform it, do whatever you need, whatever you need to do to, to get it, to get this done. Um, it will help with the flow. It will, it will let you know what sounds uh, a little bit mouthy and natural, maybe in a reader's head. The first draft is for you. Uh, the second draft is about the reader's experience and the third draft which is usually the point where you're talking to an editor where you're working with an editor is about making it broadcast quality make it turning it into something publishable turning it into something that's um, uh, as good as anything out there <laughs>